fella. We could be that mistake. Let's do this. What up, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Back at it with some Would I Lie to You. Yes. yes. Highly requested and highly anticipated on our end. Yep. We're, do- we're checking out David Mitchell's um, Barbigarious, Barbigarious Harbinger of Exer- Exuberance. Exuberance. I can't fucking pronounce it. All man. right. But uh, y'all gave us some shit in the last one yeah. when we did Lee Mac. Um, we... We were trying to guess if they were lies or truths. And they were all lies. And they were all lies. So, <laughs> dumb on our part. Nothing in, nothing in the title is giving away that they're all lies or they're all truths. So, exactly. So, here we go. Back so, at it with back our at own it. game. Here. Yes. So, we're... Uh, yeah. We're, if it is... if it, if Because remember, they're the panelists that usually guesses whether lie or truth. Yeah. So, we could also... We also play that game. All yeah, right, yeah. Right, cool. So if it's like that, then I think we'll we'll do it like yeah. that. So let's go. Let's go. David Mitchell, comedian, actor, writer, and one half of the comedy duo Mitchell and Webb, David is famous for living a lonely, sexless existence, eating frozen ready meals and having only the most awkward conversations with women. A pathetic physical specimen and intellectually <laughs> not that creative either. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. thanks to the way the media selects people for prominence, here I am! <laughs> <laughs> the night before the bin men come, I go to bed wearing earmuffs. <laughs> That way, I'm spared their irritating early morning clank of trash. <laughs> oh, what God. What day do the bin men come? Thursday morning. I th- it's instantly believable because yeah. we know him to be grumpy and yeah. you know, yeah. intolerant yeah. And, and easily disturbed. Oh, I'm yeah. Can I have a go with the list? Earmuffs <laughs> 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 and not just little in-ear thingies, you know. I don't like things uh, in, your ears. in there. I don't so, like to be, you know, penetrated. <laughs> what do your earmuffs look like, David? They're grey. Do they have like a nice plastic strap along the top? Uh, no, they're two single separate muffs. Think <laughs> 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 yeah. right, so you put them on your ears and put a hoover on your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have to yeah. block all the holes quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, they have got a, a, a linking plasticity. Mm. Are your muffs fluffy? They're, 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 yeah, they have a, a, I would, you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, yes, they're flat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you sleep in apart from the earmuffs? Uh, uh, nothing at all. So you're naked? No, 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 no I, uh, pajamas. So sometimes your relatively new wife wakes up in a, on a Thursday morning <laughs> with your matching pajamas and earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The earmuffs don't match the pajamas. No, I know that, but... Yeah. Does she secretly quite like you in the earmuffs? I mean, like, does she say you look very sweet? Well, it's not become a problem in our relationship. I would have <laughs> ended the sentence as, does she secretly quite like you? <laughs> <laughs> because I get phone calls often from her going, I don't know how this can carry on. The earmuffs, the matching pajamas. <laughs> when do the muffs go on? Because we get into bed at night, don't we? But we have several things to accomplish before we go to sleep. Yeah. Be it a quick look at an iPad or tablet, be it browsing a book, or be it celebrating a very special aspect of the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's broadcastable. Would <laughs> you wear <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> So would you wait for the muffs well, to go on until all other business has been attended to? All other business has been attended to, be it a, a crossword or something even less broadcastable, has all happened before the muffs go on. The only thing I have not done, and I'm very particular about this, before I put the earmuffs on, is go to sleep. <laughs> it's difficult to put them on whilst I'm okay, but, but what if, what if you've had a particularly exerting crossword, yeah. okay? <laughs> so you have been going at this crossword for half an hour, 40 minutes, relentlessly. <laughs> finally finish the crossword. Let's say 14 down has been particularly tricky, and you fall back when, oh, my God, that was fantastic. <laughs> Jeremy Muffs. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's just a thing in our relationship, but crosswords don't take us that long. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What I like.
Lie to You has oh, to be one of the greatest shows ever dude, made. And it's just so crazy how, like, this didn't exist a year ago to us. Right. You didn't know this thing even happened. This is great. Yeah. Oh. Fuck, <laughs> man. Oh. What are you thinking, Lee and Lee's team? Um, okay, we got a guess. Uh, I, I say truth. Uh, it's true. There's no way you can make that up. No. Who, you, who would? Admit that you, you sleep in with, with muffs in your ear. <laughs> no one. Like someone as particular as David Mitchell is. I, I, I'm not sure like if it's just him or it, it comes out in his character. Yeah. But he's, he, from what we've seen from the clip of Peep Show and Mitchell and Webb, he, he, he has a, off as, as tickish. Yeah, he, like is, he has his quirks or his OCDness about him. He, he's got a, a, a bug up his butt. Yeah, is what we what we say over yeah. here. So, <laughs> so I'm saying true. I, I I'm with you, man. Yeah, let's go. What do we think? I think that it is not true. Okay. You don't you have to wake up to pee sometimes? That's when I'd throw them on. You know, all night. I don't know. I don't always wake up to pee. I could wish. <laughs> I <laughs> he pissed the bed. <laughs> so, uh, you're saying it's. What do we think? Essentially, I think it's a well told lie. It is a lie. Mm. Okay, we'll say it's a lie. You're saying lie. Okay, David, truth or lie? It is a lie. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so maybe there's a disconnect. Here we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're we are we are so bad at this game. Yeah, we are. Oh man. <laughs> there is something about me that elephants like. <laughs> <laughs> what? Every time I visit a zoo, they thunder towards me <laughs> and point their trunks in my direction. <laughs> when did you first notice? Elephants finding you so attractive. I don't think uh, elephants liked me before I hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> and do you believe that puberty was the triggering thing? Correlation is not causation. <laughs> oh, another one of your catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they don't catch on, David. <laughs> <laughs> What's correlation? Where were you? When did you first notice it? I think it was probably at the Cotswold Safari Park. <laughs> right. I'd recently become a man. Yes. <laughs> uh, quite, a, quite an imposing figure. <laughs> As he become a man, something tells me he's not become a man. Oh, dude. He still has a lot of growing up to do. I'm just glad he has a beard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, after seeing him with a beard and then seeing him without, I'm like, Whoa, who is that? Yeah, way who too is young. That? Oh my uh, god. Dude. Riding around the Cotswold Wildlife Park. <laughs> Still intellectually juvenile. Yeah. Uh, and I was still interested in the animals. <laughs> and then I was passing the elephant's enclosure and, it, you know, it, it swiveled its head towards me. And it was quite alarming. And then it started to move slowly towards me. And then as it moved towards me, its trunk, ro it straightened. As, as, if, as if in arousal. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been on safari? No, I haven't, for obvious reasons. <laughs> How many zoological gardens, stroke safari parks have you been to and observed this in elephants? At least nine or ten at a time. You play you, right? I'll play the elephant. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Me and I'll... No, you. You've got to spot me. Mm. <laughs> it's not about what I do. It's about... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's, uh, it's exactly like... Is that, is that how it happens? Yes. Wow. Well, there was something about being the elephant then. I believe it to be true. I was... <laughs> <laughs> been with the same people or different people to the safari park? I, I Has think it been there's... mixed up enough to know it's you specifically? Ye yes. The only person who's always with me is my friend Kevin the bun seller. <laughs> <laughs> the bun seller? <laughs>
It's got to be an analogy for selling these buns, you know? Yeah. To elephants. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't think you can sneak that past us. Come on. Oh. Okay. Uh, huh, man. Is it a lie? I, I, I'm going with a lie. That's a lie. But I would, I won't be shocked if it's true. Yeah. I'm going with lie. That sounds like, uh, again, we've never seen a full episode of either Mitchell and Webb look or uh, Peep Show, but that has to be the uh, the plot of one of those it has shows. has to be. So let's let's do it, man. Yeah, we're saying lie. Yeah. Say, I don't believe it at all. <laughs> no. There's not even an ounce of truth in it. <laughs> no. I think we're gonna have to say it's a lie. Okay, so you say it's a lie. David, attracting elephants. Truth or lie? Well, it is a lie. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! We got one right! Woo! This is Rodney, and he had to retrieve my shoe when a drunk man threw it at the Skittles in a bowling alley. Okay, well, first of all, yeah, so what were on. you doing in a bowling alley? <laughs> Second, Second of all, what were you doing in possession of your own shoe in a bowling alley? And thirdly, they're not called Skittles, they're called pins. But apart from that, so far, it's all adding up. Surely your shoe was behind a counter somewhere. Well, precisely, it was until just before it was chucked. Oh, it wasn't the shoe you were wearing. It was the one that was in the, the bit that you swapped the I wasn't the currently thing. wearing the shoe. When he threw it, I wasn't in it. <laughs> <laughs> was it your bowling shoe that was thrown or your own shoe? My own, your shoe. own shoe. Who was the guy that threw the shoe? I think his name was Chris. <laughs> and when, what year was this? Uh, it was the year 2012 AD. So you were... You were <laughs> so wh wh who was the guy that threw the shoe? Uh, a friend of a friend. So what's he done? I'm getting my shoe. Right. We're leaving. Okay. You know, the bowling expedition is yeah. coming to an end. Very right. sad time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's thrown the, skit the shoe at the skittle, and um, it wasn't just my shoe. What did he throw? There was a group of us. Yeah. And we were all leaving at once. Yes. And uh, he was part of the group, but he was sort of enjoying himself on a different level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There was, there was, I'd say there was a disagreement in the group as to on what level life should be lived. Yes. And he was on the very much the heightened, you know, I tomorrow imagine, we may die. So I can imagine you were lobbying other members of the group to join yes. your level of life enjoyment. I, I was already very enjoyment. disappointed by the bowling alley's wine list. <laughs> uh, he, he, uh, this Sell me your posh without saying yeah. your posh. The wine at the bowling alley. I hope he's just lying. Oh, my God. Wine at a bowling alley? There is such a thing here, too. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean I've mean, i lived in Loudoun County, Virginia, and I've seen the more upper-scale upper bowling alleys, and I believe that they have, you know, di diversity in yes. their alcohol offerings, and it's yes. not just one of those hole-in-the-walls where it's a picture of Coors Light. Yeah, no, no. So, so I, I will believe him. I, I, I on think this one. I'm leaning towards because you're believing the story of a drunk guy throwing a shoe. Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah, let let let's let him tell his story. Yep. Yeah, this guy that threw the shoe, he was having a lovely time. Beer had been drunk, and uh, when some of us were trying to get our normal life shoes, rather than the you know the. <laughs> The magic shoes of bowling. <laughs> Do you get up in the morning and call them the normal life shoes? Just down <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mummy, the normal life shoes. Yeah. <laughs> the, normal, the, the normal life vest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Think again. Today I shall have the skis of exceptional invention. <laughs> <laughs> So the shoes are being handed back, yeah. and this guy <coughs> runs them. past, snatches three or four shoes. Well, how many legs have you got? <laughs> they're not all the friends. He chooses shoes, his sorry. moment yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with, frankly, with the accuracy of a sober man. Yes. <laughs> uh, runs, and he do it with some sort of Viking shout of glee. Yeah. Chucks them towards the, what I now realise are pins. Right. You <laughs> haven't said what the occasion was. Um, it was a stag do. A stag do for wow. one of your chunks. Uh, for a stranger. 
No, he's a friend stag do. And how does Rodney come into the story? He uh, worked at the bowling alley. Yes. Uh, I think still does. Yeah. And uh, you can't just you can't just wander down. He went and he walked down one of the uh, you know the gutters. Did he? <laughs> and <laughs> retrieved the shoes. So did anything else happen on this stag night? Did they do anything to the to the groom like? Time to a lamppost, strip him naked, anything like that. Anyone get a steak pie down their pants? <laughs> no, because no, everyone had been invited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, so so we don't get to see. So this is more of a compilation. Okay, it's a compilation. All right. Ah, uh, man. I, I'm here for it, man. It's funny. If we had had the opportunity to s see if this guy was who David said he was. I would lean towards lie. I, I, he, he, we, we, we'd be different. I would lean towards truth. He, he just said a few things that just didn't add up. I, I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, but I there was just some inconsistencies. I, I, I relate so hard to him calling them Skittles, and everyone's like, what? They're pins. <laughs> that means he's a, a duck out of water. <laughs> that means I believe that, because when's the last time you went to a freaking bowling alley? When I was twelve, yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. So I would say, I would say it's true. You okay. say it's false. For the record, yeah, yeah. Someone let us know in the comments. <laughs> like hearsay. Anyway, heresy. I find it incredibly irritating when other people fiddle with my jigsaws. Please, <laughs> <laughs> team. What was the last jigsaw you did? It was, a, it was a picture of the city centre in Oxford. How many pieces was it? Uh, a thousand. A thousand. What's your um, jigsaw etiquette? Uh, et my, my etiquette? Well, when I say etiquette, I mean if you're doing a big jigsaw, you have to do it on something so that it doesn't upset everybody else's life. So what do you do <laughs> it on? Uh, my grandfather's coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've all stopped hoping that he's ever going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> On the card table. The card. <laughs> Just oh, how... so fucking awesome. How matter-of-fact he said that. Just made it for me. Hello, <laughs> my grandpa. It's coming. Because we... What do you say? Because we gave up hope that he's ever going to come back out. He ain't coming out. Let's just do a jigsaw awesome. on top of it. Oh, oh, man. Again, put that in the list of things you can't this, get away with in America. This this is why this show is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. The banter back and forth between the funny-ass panelists. Yes. And we lack that here. Uh-huh. I mean, you. there is a U.S. Would I Lie to You. Um, I haven't watched it. It's sitting on my YouTube TV. Is uh, it? DVR thing. Did it just get released? Or no, it's it... It, like a month or so ago. Uh -oh. There's like six episodes just waiting to be watched. Uh -oh. I don't uh -oh. know if I will I watch know. them. I don't know, man. If anybody has watched them, comment below. They're like, it's shit. It was invented here. Like, yeah, we know. yeah. Yeah, so was Who's Line, and so was The Office, and other shows. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Another card table. That's yeah. nearly right. And, and you, you start with the other <laughs> side. You do, you do the whole perimeter. Yeah. Where do you go then? Then I go for recognisable objects in the scene. So which particular recognisable bits are you looking for then? Well, there's a, a, a building in the middle with a sort of dome and a, and a spike. I'm an expert in architecture. <laughs> <laughs> there was that thing and there also there was several people wandering around, you know, like someone on a bicycle. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's saying, you know, specific. You're looking for specific things. Yeah. A person can go anywhere in the jigsaw. Yes, no, they but, can't. But they can only go where they go. I... <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> put a person, I'm going to put him up there. <laughs> when you do a jigsaw, Lee... Yeah. Do well, you... I don't, Dave, because I've got a life, but carry <laughs> <Right>. on. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, do, do you use scissors? Because that's... <laughs> that's a... You know I'm not that's a scissors! <laughs> <laughs> So generally, a thousand-piece jigsaw, you're coming back to it now and again, yeah. work commitments permitting, how long does it take? Let's say 
Three months. Okay, three All right, months. let's say three, three months. months. Three months. It's a thousand piece jigsaw, yeah. 333 pieces a month. Excessive. So he's doing about 90 pieces a week. So he's doing about 15 pieces a day, right? Mm -hmm. 15 pieces a day is borderline. You need help. <laughs> I don't need help. I don't like it when people help. <laughs> <laughs> Jolie, what's it going to be? He's, first of all, before we see, he's so particular yeah. with his puzzles and like, I, I get it. I bet you someone would come by there and just knock that thing off. For that yeah. reason, I'm saying lie. I'm saying truth. Because if, if there's any of these panelists that are nitpicky about their things, it would be him. I just I get that from him. Yeah, it's certainly not slam poetry, Johnny Rotten, <laughs> yeah, or no. or a uh, uh, Gilbert from In Betweeners. No, no, it's it's David Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're divided. What did you say? I say I say true. I say lie. Okay, let's see. Well, if he was into jigsaws properly and he didn't want a fiddler, you put clink film on it. What? <laughs> 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 film sort of stick to the pieces and then so when you pick the cling no. film up it would sort of undo what you do weeks right? and months of work no it's horrible because you it? buy a massive tray yeah you do it on the tray not only can you carry it around if you need to dust yeah. but also the cling film wraps underneath <laughs> you've watched far too many features on the one show <laughs> this week we're talking about tricks for jigsaws <laughs> <laughs> You probably think it's just the four corners you have to know, but no, get your cling film ready, we'll tell you after this. <laughs> David, truth or lie? It is true. Oh. True. Oh, oh wow. man. <laughs> this is like, uh, oh, man. Uh, God, get that bug out of your ass, David I, Mitchell. I, I, dude, he's just, he's a guy, as, as, as a carpenter, I would never do work for. No. <laughs> no. You couldn't pay me enough. Oh, like, God. hey, man, I need this done. Like, mm, find someone. <laughs> like, you are the someone. You're mm. not working around that puzzle. Nope, nope. Or I'm not having him over my shoulder nitpicking stuff. He is the type that he would is, nitpick. He is that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I recently shooed a fox out of the garden by squirting it with water. Five minutes later, I watched in horror as it returned with its brother and ate my plimsoll. <laughs> what? What? Please, team. Uh -huh. do you think? <laughs> I've never heard anything so middle class in all <laughs> I'm on a picture it. So you're in your house and you see the fox in the garden. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't, with the greatest respect, you don't strike me as overly nimble. <laughs> Just nimble enough. Between one and ten, how quickly were you in the garden? I went out in the garden at top speed for me, yeah. which I'm afraid is now 6.7. <laughs> you, you come out into the garden, you, you've got the hose, you see yeah. the fox, and he sort of moves away a bit, shows some, a certain degree of, of fear of, of the alpha predator. Okay, you lost me yeah. there. Yeah. Alpha predator. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, Who the it. fuck are yeah, you kidding? I, I love that. He's like, I just shooed the fox away. And, and and Lee Mack was just like, I've never heard something so middle class in my whole life. <laughs> that is... That is a... It, That's middle class. Yeah, it's just like... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be like... I went to Starbucks and my latte was a little was lukewarm instead of hot. Kind of problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's 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 suburban problems. Yeah, like mm, yeah. Are they really problems? Not a real problem. No, they're not. Come on. Safe with this guy. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can't have this. I can't have the fox thinking it's one. If I lose my power to frighten off foxes, what am I? <laughs> Can I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I grab, I grab my hose, and I 
you know, swizzle some down. water at them. I don't, I don't want to soak the poor creature. Did you put your thumb on the end? So I, I did put my thumb on the end, and I directed some water sort of towards the lawn, just kind of between him and me. Yeah. And that's enough. He's, right. he's off. I bet he went, after he, the fox went off, I bet he went. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he hadn't turned it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look around sheepishly and thought, better get those pencils. Are you in your pyjamas? I was wearing normal clothes. Well, David, we've got a different opinion yeah, of what just, normal clothes yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> it, was, it was black tie, not white tie. <laughs> So in a nutshell, yeah. you had a fox in your garden, you come out, mm -hmm. water the thing out the garden, then a little while later, it comes back. Two of them come Two back. Two of them. Now, <laughs> where are you at this point? I'm, I'm in the kitchen, right. noticing they've come back to the garden, thinking, dear, oh dear. There was deer there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fox, and then one of the foxes goes and grabs this uh, plimsoll that I keep by the shed. Why? In, for, for walking around the garden. One plimsoll. What? <laughs> yeah, there's two. There's two. It's a suggestion. Why don't you keep the plimsolls near the back door so you don't have to get your feet wet if it's raining? But or... you're full of home improvement ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because I'm a moron. <laughs> what happens to the plimsoll? Uh, one of them savages this shoe. What's the other one doing? I, I don't know. I don't speak fox. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do a proper impression of a fox, I know a woman. <laughs> Providing you're a tad gullible, we'll show you exactly. <laughs> Sorry, go on. So, no, so, so I say, hello, Mr. Fox. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate with you. Perhaps you could stop pooing on my lawn. <laughs> right, Lee, what are you thinking? Fun. Okay, so, first of all, that is a terrible fox impersonation. Yes. yes. <laughs> they obviously speak Latin. Everyone knows Latin. That. Yes. So, so what, what, what is this in Latin? Ring, ding, 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 yes, ding, that ding, one. Ding, ding. If you know, you know. Yeah, Everyone if you know, know, you know. Is it a lie or is it truth? As someone who grew up in a backwoods area, um, the first 15 years of my life before I moved to the suburbs, I can tell you this happens. Yeah. So, I'm going to say true. I, I think so, too. I okay. think so too, especially a place where there's no predators and no one hunting them. Yep. Mm, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Because right now, you go see a fox, especially in my backyard, man, they're out. They're like, pew! They're oh, gone. Yeah. yeah. I, I believe it. Yep. I believe it. We're saying true. Fundamentally, no Englishman leaves a pair of plimsolls as his garden footwear and keeps them by a shed. So you're saying it's... It's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah, I think it's a lie. Well, I'll go with my team, even though I think it's true. Saying it's a lie. OK, David. Squirting foxes in the garden. Truth or lie? It is a lie. Oh, oh come on. It was just one fox. It was just one. I'll, 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 res <laughs> I'll respect that for not, you know... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. know. This is... This, yeah. This is my frog lamp. <laughs> I, I pop it on when I go down to the bottom of the garden to check on the frogs. <laughs> OK, if you could take the uh, frog lamp out. And, uh, uh, <laughs> fantastic. <clears throat> and I think it, uh, well, as you know, <laughs> you, can, you can switch it on. You know how to do it. There we are. Oh, yeah. That, that, is, that is, without yeah. doubt, the most working class you've ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save the battery. It's all right. Um, so, OK, the frogs at the bottom, bottom of your... Are they at the bottom of your garden? Yes. Are they your frogs in a sort of pet sense, or are they frogs that live wild, like a stream that's at the bottom of your garden? There's a bucket of them, and I, I initially, that I got from frog spawn in my parents' pond. A, a, a whole bucket full of frog spawn? A whole bucket full of frog spawn. No, you didn't. Yeah, frog yes, I did. <laughs> or did I? <laughs> Why do you check on your frogs with, at night? Um, because I'm embarrassed to do it by day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good time, I've been told, to check on them as well. What are you checking for? I'm just still there? observing them, see if they're still there. Okay. I like to look at them. So, question for you. Why do you not just carry a torch? What is it you're leaving your hands free for? <laughs> <that> you... <laughs> 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 exactly. What, what are you doing? 
exactly. Well, you can't just hold a torch. What do you need these for when you're looking at the floor? <laughs> no, I mean, I, mean I, I think it would be possible to check on them without this, but as I have this tremendous well, that's hat. a good question. So that is just, you just happen to have that hat. Yeah. So what did you have that hat for before the frog? Where did I get this hat? That's where did you get where that Where did I get this hat? Isn't it a funny one? I've never I seen one like hat. that. Yeah. Um, I got this hat. This hat belonged to my grandfather. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Your grandfather was very advanced, wasn't yeah. he? I mean, the, the halogen light. I, 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 must have been the talk of the village. <laughs> <laughs> I must have thought of him as the devil's own witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> why did your grandfather own that hat? I don't know why he owned you, this hat. So your granddad gave you that hat? No. And, oh, you did passed you, on after he died? It was discovered in the garage. And no one ever knows what he used to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, did, you, did your grandmother just go, that's curious. She didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't ask my grandmother because she predeceased my grandfather by several decades. Oh, oh. there's a clip. Man. There's a clip for the Christmas trailer. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> that sounds like oh. a proper response for David Mitchell touching you. Yeah, they hop off. Yeah. Yep. I Pretty mean, much. in general, he's not Jerry, Jimmy Savile or Gary Glitter level, but he yeah. just he just oh God. he's just I can't like, I can't take him seriously with the the hard hat with <laughs> the the closet light. Yeah. On it. <laughs> He, he must have been the basis for uh, Will from In Betweeners. Yeah. He had to be. Dude, that's what it, this whole banter thing brings back. Yeah. It's like each of the panelists represents one of the characters from In Betweeners. Yeah. Like that's. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, so, what do you think? Rachel. I like it. I'm, I'm buying it. All right. So, is it true or lie? Uh, dude, it's fucking weird. So, it has to be. True. It's uh, fucking weird. I'm gonna say a lie. Yeah. Okay. Because because <laughs> there's no way that a grandpa has that uh, hat. It, no. it, it, like, like, as as old as David Mitchell is, his grandpa did not own that. Come no. on. But I believe he found it in the garage. Yeah. For some weird the, reason. In the garage. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I just. Yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm saying truth. Okay, all right. I'm going to say a lie. Let's see. You're buying it. Buying You're buying it. that. Ricky. I don't believe him. You don't believe I him? Don't. No, I don't believe him. <laughs> so what are you going to say, Lee? Well, I'm going to say it's a lie. Oh. Saying it's a lie. Okay, David, truth or lie? Yes, you've got lucky. It is a lie. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it was a lie. Come on. Yeah. It, and I, I just want to point out, like, the dressing styles of David and Lee Mack. They're so opposite. Yeah. Like, you, you could tell uh, uh, David shops at Nordstrom or what, what, what's the suit and tie place? Joseph A. Bank. Yes. Or whatever the uh, equivalent is in, a, in Britain. Yes. And uh, Lee, Lee Mack looks like he... Um, uh, Jimmy Buffett store merch on sale. Or he uh, ra raided Liam Gallagher's... Uh, uh, hand me downs. Yeah, yeah. That's what. I, that, that's what I'm gonna go with. <sighs> Tony and I regularly go round to his house to play with his Lego. Okay, David. This is Tony, and you go round to his house to play Lego. Is that what you're saying? What, why? Why Lego. would you play Lego at Tony's house? But he's got a lot of Lego. How often do you go round to his house and play with Lego? I suppose, <laughs> I suppose it must be uh, once every two or three weeks. How long is a session? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't, two or three hours. And do you freeform, or have you got a kit that you follow the instructions? We're building a castle. Are you? A model well, of a castle. So this yeah. castle, yeah. is it an exact replica of your house, or is it...? <laughs> 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 no, it's, 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 the, it's supposed to look like the Tower of London. So, so how big is it going to end up being? It's obviously big, isn't it? When it's finished, uh, I think it'll be, I, I would say, roughly the size of one of these circles here. 
Wow, and how what? long is that going to take? As big as that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be it's big. Do you have different sections that you work on, or do you work on the same section at the same well, time? Well, we've, we've, what we've largely done is completed the, the, the white tower, and, what? and now we're trying to work out the, you know, the footprint, if you, know, if you see what I mean, of the curtain wall. I'm it's so Quick question, quick question. Are you still married? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. How do you know him? I know him uh, because I made a documentary. And I met him doing that. What was the documentary called? It was the documentary was called "The Pursuit of Youth." Uh, it was about people who were into, you know, childish, childish things as, as adults. And they got you to host that. Yes. <laughs> 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 he seems like the kind of guy that would host something like that. He, I mean, he has the the his type of humor is refreshing because yeah. it's it's witty. Mm -hmm. It's witty. It's not blatant. Like in your face, it's, right, it's, right. It, it takes a little bit of a uh, uh, brain to yeah. uh, to get it. Yeah, I I I, I, I respect that. I, I, respect I do that too. I'm... There's there's always a place for for intelligent, witty comedy. Yeah, I, I remember uh, when we did the Mitchell and Webb uh, corner store one. Everyone, oh my god, <laughs> everybody was giving me so much shit <laughs> because I apparently didn't get the joke. I just saw it from my perspective. Uh, as dude, it, it like that's what I'm saying. A lot of these comedians are so different than what we're used to here. Yeah. It takes a lot of 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 understanding the timing of where they're coming from. Yeah, a lot of context. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Yes. So and we are just scratching the surface of being able to understand the comedy. Yeah. Like, wow, wait, hold on. He said one of the size of these circles? One of those circles. Fuck no, that's a lie. Yeah, it has to be a lie. That's a lie. That's probably a $10,000 Lego set. Yeah, I mean, look, you're a dad. Do you play with Legos with your with your son? Dude, of course, it's, 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 it's critical. It's critical. Teaches them how to be artistic. Can I come play? Yeah, of, dude, of course. But remember, we haven't upgraded to Lego. We are at uh, uh, Mega Blocks. Okay, Mega Blocks. Okay, okay. Mega Blocks suck, but they they're do. the principle of Lego. Okay. So okay. we slowly get more complex. Like the, you know, mother in law, uh, father in law, even my dad, grandfather, like, throw, they've given them Lego sets and it's just not there yet. Okay, okay. It's a little bit too small. Yeah, you give it, you give it a couple of years, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yep. maybe that's our side. And that's when we just keep our shoes on in the house. Yeah, because there's no pain nope. like stepping on a Lego. Nope, you question everything. Oh, yeah. Like oh, your yeah. love for family. Heck, yeah. You're just like, mm, well, mm -mm. Yeah. yep. <laughs> when you approached this sort of Lego body, how, did, did everyone believe you? So you told your wife, you said, I'm going to go and build Lego at Tony's mm. house, and it was everything was fine, and that was all. She, she seemed to believe me. <laughs> Has Tony got a wife? I can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tony does have a wife. David's played this game long enough to know that if he was to put in the phrase, I was making a telly show, that would be a risk. Are you following his career? I'm not. Anybody <laughs> 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 here following David's oh, career? <laughs> we are! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For it. Don't say that even as a trailer. I saw the trailer. That was trailer. <laughs> this week on the shoot of you. How's your wife, Tony? <laughs> Join us next week on the shoot of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. We let us know for those of you that that that. I've seen that clip. Let us know what it ended up being. Yeah. Cause yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm hooked on this now. Yeah. I say lie. I'm going to say lie, too. That's a shit ton of Lego. That's a shit ton of Lego. For two grown-ass adults. Yeah. Do they also have chicky nuggies and well, chalky milk <laughs> there, too? That's a that's mandatory. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. It's part of the instructions. Mm -hmm. Um, We did the, the... But we did do the uh, Lego Village... At the very beginning of this channel. Oh yeah, and, and so those and, are grown ass men. And they threatened to uh, the people who, uh, who did that threatened to give us a copyright strike for it. So fuck you very much for that. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Yeah, you can have that video. Yeah, whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but grown ass people do Legos. Yeah, uh, I'll give him that. I'll give him that.
I once hired a jet ski. But... <laughs> <laughs> no. Lie. <laughs> Lie. We need to hear no more, David. <laughs> <laughs> I once hired a jet ski, but couldn't work out how to stop it, so had to buzz around the bay for 50 minutes until it ran out of petrol. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back, I, yeah. you did. I can see you doing that. Please, absolutely. Gee. So where was this? It was in Antigua. In Antigua? It's... Was this in your boy, single lad's days? He never had those days. It's <laughs> 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 on the show, isn't it? it is. <laughs> Why no, were you in Antigua? On holiday. Was the Winchester Steam Museum shut? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I arrived at the Winchester Steam Museum and it was shut, and so I went straight to Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> when was and, this? Uh, I think about two years ago. And um, who were you with? My uh, wife. And what got into your head? I could imagine you renting a sun lounger and opening up uh, a weighty tome. I, I could imagine that. But I can't see you saying, now you relax here, I'm just going to go... <laughs> and ..bomb around the bay for a while. <laughs> Were you with your wife on the jet skis, or did she stay on, the, on dry land? Uh, she stayed on dry land. So you were on your own going round? Yeah, you yeah. were with other people? And just it was you. your idea? I just... I, look, I thought I'd have a bit of a go. What were you wearing, David? Uh, uh, sort of swimming shorts. What length were the shorts? Were they sort of Daniel Craig? <laughs> or, uh... <laughs> they weren't as long as Daniel Craig. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wear? Like shorts. I said swimming shorts. They've got a pocket. Wow. They've got a pocket. <laughs> Pocket, and they've got netting on the inside <laughs> to keep everything in order. <laughs> you jump on, you're looking back at your wife. Ah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? Uh, well, to be honest, I'm not like, ah, look at me at all, because I must say, as soon as I get going, it becomes immediately apparent to me that I don't like it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, here's a big question then. Mm. You did it until the petrol ran out, did you say? Yeah. So, did you manage to time perfectly that the petrol had run out just as you got to back to the jetty? No. So you were stuck now in the middle of the sea? <laughs> yeah. I didn't... What I didn't do is head straight out away from the coast. <laughs> the point where my plan formed, I thought, I'll just go up and down quite near the jetty, thinking I'll, I'll be able to swim to the jetty if the worst comes to the worst. So what I happened then? You just it. kept going, kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. Yeah. Talk us through. Well, I kept going, I kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Lee, what are you going to say? Oh, man. Oh, dude, I have to say lie. Lie? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I feel like if it's true, it would happen to him. Like, it would. I, I could see that. Yeah. Someone that's so, like... Posh? Yeah. Like, fuck it, I'm going to be one of the yokels. I'm going to rent a jet ski. <laughs> and it backfires. Mm -hmm. And then that would happen. I could see several people that I interact with frequently in Annapolis that would do something similar. Yeah, yeah. To fit in with the locals. Yeah, just to do it. You know? And, and have you ever been on a jet ski? I was, like, very young when Me I too. was. Like, I, I actually, I would say, no, I haven't. I probably have, but I, I'm going to say no, I have. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was too young to fully grasp the experience. Yeah, and I so. definitely wasn't driving. Oh, no, no. So no, that, that means was... I... No, just for the record, no, I have not been jet skiing. I, neither have I. Bucket list. Yes. Uh, that's a lie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with 100%. you on that one. <laughs> 100%. What do we think? I... You have a great physique. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to warn me before you say things like this. <laughs> a great physique for what? For maybe, I don't know, a game of billiards <laughs> or Cluedo. Yeah. And I don't quite think that jet skiing is completely your thing. I agree. <laughs> I don't think he has ever been to Antigua. <laughs> so you're saying lie, you're saying lie. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie? I'll go with the team. David, truth or lie? It is a lie. Oh. Of course it was a lie. I feel like we're getting better at yeah, this. Yeah, we are. We're, yeah. We're, we're, we're getting to know the panelists. Yep, yep. We're, you know. we're getting it. Yep. We're getting it. Yep. This is Carlos. 
He came to my house to deliver a pizza, but we ended up building a bed together. Bed story. Right, so he, called, he called for a pizza. Oh, yeah. Carlos yeah. came round delivering the pizza, and they ended up building a bed together. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, well, what? <laughs> Was the bed a flat Come pack on. then? Is it that was a flat pack, yeah. Was it for yourself? No. Who was it for? It was for my parents. Had they not visited before? <laughs> uh, well, they had visited before, but not... They not... would sleep standing up. <laughs> <laughs> they would not uh, stayed the night before in that house. We wanted to keep things on a formal standing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think David orders pizzas? It's amazing the things that people won't believe of me. Orders pizzas? Yes. Well, what else would he do in a situation where he needs food quickly? I think he'd order some sort of Roman feast or a, <laughs> <laughs> or a Tudor meal. I, I agree, I agree, but those sort of shops have been closing down <laughs> at quite a speed recently. <laughs> I can imagine him just a ordering... Tudor meal? <laughs> I could just speed dial Tudor Meal. I'll just add the Tudor Meal number four. <laughs> <laughs> With extra wrens. <laughs> so he knocks on the door. When he knocks on the door, did you immediately... Did you have a plan that when yeah. the pizza man comes round, you're going to ask him? Or was it a spur-of-the-moment thought? Well, the body of the last pizza man was beginning to smell. <laughs> <laughs> you murder one pizza man, then you have to murder another pizza man. That's yeah. the domino effect. I, I, the bed was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy... That's the domino's effect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well played. Love it, love it. Well played. By the way, P Domino's is my favorite uh, yeah. fast food yeah, pizza. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, so... And you'd been trying to make this bed on your own. I had. Which bit had you got to? Well, broad. I'd managed to get the sort of side bits in the bed head bit. Right. The bed. And some of the kind of slats were more or less in Let's place. Let's be honest, you've almost finished then. You, you put the slats on already, but you still haven't done the bottom. Yeah, I couldn't. You didn't do the slats at the end. Put the slats on before exactly. you attached the two side bits. To what the what else did you do? Had you also made the bed and plumped the pillows? I mean, you <laughs> got in the wrong order of all this. So the doorbell goes, here's your pizza. Oh, I'm... it's you. Hello, mate. Um, here it is, extra pepper army. There's the money. You give him the tip. I haven't given him the tip yet. The tip happens later. I give, I give him a much... Oh, my God, I want you to come to my bedroom and then... Oh, this is one of the best oh. bits so far. <laughs> oh, there's a tip for you. You come this the way. Bedroom. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, no. Oh, God. I, I, I feel like this session alone... How, how, like, brash do you gotta be? Ask the delivery driver to help you. Oh, man. It, it'd be a cold day in hell. Uh-huh. Yeah, and listen, I've worked for Papa John's. I've worked... I've done DoorDash before. Never in my... I've never been asked to help assemble a bed for a tip. It's never happened. Uh, we're going to hear that one person that's yep. had that happen to him. Yep. Shoot. Quite hassled. I think possibly holding two or three random pieces of wood. Um, <laughs> yes. And I say, uh, look, I'm terribly sorry, but could you just help me with something? For, for a minute, I'm, I'm just trying to assemble a piece of furniture. Right. And, and I just need someone to hold the other end while I shove something in. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't vouch that those were my exact words. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> uh, like, he doesn't even realize oh, he's it, how he's wording things. I love it, man. Oh, man. What the fuck? Oh. oh, man. This is Claire, and she's my dentist. Oh, yes. Whose earring I accidentally <laughs> swallowed mid-procedure. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So for that, I'm saying lie. Uh-huh. It's like, uh, have, have you seen the Ron White bit uh, on This Is Not Happening, where he accidentally swallows a tooth, and he has to shit it out? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's, it's something while, like that. It's something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, I, I expect something similar to that. <sighs> it's a, just a stud. What was the procedure? Uh, it was a, a dental, <clears throat> a dental procedure. <laughs> No, it was, it was actually, it was a, a cleaning. Not polishing, a cleaning. I, I won't clean my teeth myself. <laughs> um, so you yeah. pay her at a dentist's rate to do hygienist's work? I want an expert. Yeah. <laughs> I get a brain surgeon to clean behind my ears. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what made it suddenly just fall out? Did you grab at her in terror? Uh, no, 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 I didn't. No, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Dude, that his his impersonation of him is spot on. Uh huh. <laughs> and where is that dude from? Oh, the, the middle um, guy. Yeah, the American guy. Uh, I it don't might know. be com Canadian, but I'm might be sure. Canadian. Someone let us know. You make me seem so sexy. <laughs> no, I think it was just si simply gravity. Something has to ruffle your ears. Yes. Oh, you David, to... you yeah. didn't. <laughs> Goodness sake, man. You can't blame it on the Novocaine. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> so, you're laying back. Yeah. In the dentist chair or the hygienist chair. Yes. And she's leaning over you mm -hmm. to use the cleaning apparatus. Yeah. It's hard to swallow even liquid when the hygienist is uh, working in your mouth. Mm -hmm. How did you manage to swallow an earring? Well, I didn't try to. It just went... <laughs> and I felt it just a slight... So you didn't, you, didn't, felt... you didn't swallow at the time? I felt nothing more than a sort of... No, I didn't go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you swallow the earring, do you get the earring back and give it to Claire at your next appointment? Yeah, that's a good question. Did it ever get back to Claire? It did not. <laughs> did I'm, it? I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared to do that. <laughs> was the toilet at any point and there was a sort of definitive Bing. definite clink noise as metal hit porcelain. No, I think it must have been deeply embedded in... <laughs> 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 He must have gotten some extra pepperoni with his pizza. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> okay, one. now I have to have roughage. So uh, let's fill up the tank. Yep, yep. <laughs> when you... Oh, God, give us a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it must have come out, you know, mid-log. Yeah. <laughs> mid-log. You could have at least used it for a very unusual game of Pass the Parcel. <laughs> <laughs> Strong enough work. <laughs> so the kids, the clowns cancelled. Better you. David's brought his little thing. To music. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Give me a second. I'm sorry. Oh, oh god. My face can't take it. Oh. You're smiling. I'm lightheaded. Uh, whoo! Uh, one of these days, someone oh. better put together a compilation of all the times that I've said that I'm lightheaded. Oh, Y'all think I'm making this up? I am not. What the fuck? So he just swallows a, an earring. An earring. This poor lady's earring. And doesn't make any attempt to try and get it back. Oh yeah, no, no, no. That earring's gone. Yeah, it's if gone. If I swallow your earring. It's gone. I'm it's sorry. Gone. Yeah, Just, it's hey, it's gone. It's... Give me the other one. I'll swallow that too, to make it to have balance. Yeah, it, it'll be in the local sewer in a couple of days. Yep. <laughs> I've yet to find the courage to make a contactless card payment. I what? I considered it once, but decided that full pin entry was the safer method. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. What do you think of that? What do you fear, David? Well, it's a security risk, isn't it? Why is it a security risk? Well, because you don't have to put in your pin. The only security that's relevant is yeah. that you know it's you. If you know it's fine, contactless and the pin's the same thing. But who among us can be sure of who we really are? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you consider using it, David? <clears throat> I've considered it a few times in a oh, few right. places, because sometimes people suggest it, which I think is rather forward. 
<laughs> you know, I, I, you know, you so they suggest you say, I'm sorry, am I keeping you? You know, you haven't got time for me to enter four digits now. <laughs> Do you have an Oyster card? Uh, yes. Ah, so you are happy with contactless there. If the Oyster card gave you the option of putting in a pin, I'd be all for it. But that's <laughs> never been set up like that. No. And I'm not so weird as to go into Oyster HQ and ask to have a particular high-security Oyster card <laughs> issued specially for me. It's very hard to get into Oyster <laughs> HQ, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You have to get, like, a knife and yeah. prize it open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you've got with you. You have to get past Pearl on reception. <laughs> 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 Love have you it. Have you used it then? Have you used it once? Um, <laughs> I've, I've yet to find the courage, so no. Do you have a mobile phone? I have a mobile phone. Would you phone. ever use Apple Pay? Or, we can't call it that. Orange World, we can't do oh, they're, no. they're a company as well. Would you ever use um, pay? Would you ever use your mobile phone? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, can, no, you, because I sometimes do that. I, I'm quite happy to get my phone out in MS and I feel quite cool. I hold it and it mm. pays it. Do you want a receipt? No. No, wow. I've, I've never paid for anything You've like that. You've never paid for anything with Apple Pay? No. What? What are you talking about? Have you, you just got a new phone? Have you, have you are you starting some new adverts that we don't know about, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think? What do we think? I'm, I'm very scared of it, so scared of I empathise with that, so yeah, why yeah, not? Okay. It seems so obviously him. So you've got to go for it. <laughs> I think he fears it, yeah. Okay, you're saying it. Ah, I, I would say it's true. Yeah. I yeah. think so too. It seems like the kind of guy that would be scared of. Yeah. It, it, come on. It, it's so easy. Bark. Done. Identity stolen. I feel like you'd be scared of, of that. Of course. Of course I am. Yeah. Uh, coming yeah. to get us. Yeah. Always. Yeah. We went and got stuff from 7 Eleven and Jimmy John's today. No. Nope. You could have tapped your card. Could have. But you didn't. How, uh, it, it's, there's no consent to tap here. You know? No. Whatever, no. man. No, I do not consent. Whatever, man. Whatever. It's true. David, you fear contactless payment, truth or lie. <laughs> it is, in fact, a lie. Okay, oh. fine. <laughs> fine. And this is Ben, and he took me to my first ever football match and then okay. was disappointed when I dozed off for a bit in the, in the second half. When was this? This was last season. Oh. He's already got all the I'm, words, hasn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> hey! This one. Mm. Last season. Yeah. What, what was the match? Uh, it was uh, association football. <laughs> and it was uh, between Tottenham Hotspur yeah. and Hull. And who won? Uh, Tottenham Hotspur. How do you know? <laughs> I went to it. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where was it played? In Tottenham or at Hull? In Tottenham. Do you and remember football? the name of the ground? Uh, what if I could? Would, would that make this definitely true? Um, I'm not willing to say how I feel about that. Okay. I'm not willing to say how I feel about anything, but that's just because I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was, hey, it was dude! White Hart Lane. Wow, we know a lot of the panellists. Yeah, yeah, um, Hammond from Top Gear, yeah, Sean Trevor Locke, Noah. young Trevor Noah. A couple of clips ago, had wow. Bob Mortimer. Um, who else? But uh, this one is kind of stacked. Yeah, this is a stacked lineup here. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was, at, it was at White Hart Lane. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, I do have a research team. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the color of the kits? Let's say one team was in white. Ooh. And the other team wasn't. <laughs> what colour was the goalkeeper wearing? Green. All over, with a little tricorn hat. <laughs> as, as I recall. So, what, how do you know Ben? He, uh, he was at school with me. OK, and uh, if you don't like football, why would you have gone? Um, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I like to... Uh, um, no, I was about to say, I like to experience new things. No, I don't. But, uh, <laughs> I get bullied into experiencing new things under peer pressure. He said, you're always slagging off football. Why don't you come along and the, the atmosphere will be great. You might quite like it. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll shut up for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> who, are you, who are you there to support? Uh, well, vaguely. He's a, uh, he's a Spurs fan. That's the short name. Nice. <laughs> so I, was, I was broadly, you know, hoping his team would win. Do you remember the score? I think there was one goal. Well, to the which... Tottenham Hotspurs? Exactly, and it was on the basis of that that the victory was declared to be theirs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love that, dude. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play football as well? I know you don't yeah, play it out professionally. Yeah, I had to play a bit. At school? Uh, yeah. I, I hated it completely, but I was usually sort of put vaguely in defence. Oh. So that I'd be sort of standing there coldly. Some of and the bigger the boys charging past, down they towards They charge you. past me in the goal, then it goes back to the middle and you get a bit of respite. <laughs> <laughs> and what time was chess club due to start? <laughs> chess club. I wasn't very good at chess, so, you know. Really? You know, Yes, a, a pathetic physical specimen, and intellectually <laughs> not that creative either. <laughs> you know, but oh. thanks to the way the media selects people for prominence, here I am! <laughs> 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 okay. Hello, boys. Good luck. I just wanted to say you're heading off to the Euros, and I hope you go all the way and that you bring it home for Wales. Well, you say that, but obviously England are actually going to win. That's not very nice, is it? David, help me out here. Yeah? I, I don't really care for football. <laughs> Good luck. You <laughs> me up. What the fuck what is this? What the fuck is going on? Or maybe they won. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, that was awesome. That was you great. know it's two thumbs up, yeah, man. That was great. This yeah. and this. Uh huh. It, it's one of the video. It's one of the greatest shows uh, ever made. Yeah. So I'm not mad that it's nope. this long. Nope. But uh, comment below uh, what. Other what I lie to you, yeah, you want panelists. us to check out next. The panelists, uh, we've got a couple ones. I yep. can't remember off the top of my head, yep. but put them in the comments. Yes, please. We'll get to them. In the meantime, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends. Yes, guys. And until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug and do something crazy. <laughs> Unlike David Mitchell. Yeah, See y'all next time.